What's up guys, it's Reekin here and I'm bringing you my first tutorial since I got back from Spain and it's gonna be my first masking tutorial in Sony Vegas a lot. I got a lot of requests in doing this so I start up a preview what we're gonna be doing today is we got a normal clip here going and bam we got an effect going and sniper mask and it goes to the next clip so yeah that's it so we're gonna start from the beginning now by deleting all of these and we'll start up by our clip we got here a normal clip make sure to disable for example and all this stuff now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new video track and we're gonna search where we want the transition to start so let's say second four maybe and we're gonna do two uh, another video track and what we're gonna do we're gonna put a clip in the port we want it to start let's delete the, the audio and we're gonna search a part where we want to mask so let's say I want to mask I'm gonna find the part where I want to mask I want to mask this uh, sniper so what we're gonna do we're gonna change the resolution to full and we're gonna take a snapshot so we got this here now Let's put this aside here, and we're gonna put our snapshot now. So we got a steady frame here. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put event pen and crop, and we're gonna go to mask, hit tick, and we're gonna go to the anchor creation tool, and we're gonna put a mask around your mask area. I'm roughly gonna I'm gonna do this roughly because the record of the video in time. And sorry I have bad voice because I'm sick today and I didn't eat anything. So I'm done. So let's go. Almost there. This sucks. So yeah, we're gonna fix this now by going to uh, feather type both. We're gonna click to both and set the feather type what you want. Uh, the, um, the value that is better on your eye, you know. So we maybe put, I like to put four. So we got some. It's a little bit clear, you know. And yeah, that's it. We're done with this. Now we need to do the animation. So the animation is good and maybe you have to do it in half a second. So I'm gonna go to event pattern crop position and we're gonna click and hold shift and drag this up. So the sniper goes down and set a keyframe. Now we need to go half a second forward. Maybe here, yeah. And gonna set this to uh, maybe here yeah. we're gonna uh, when we go to the place you like we're gonna click here and we're gonna set it to default so it does it a keyframe so what we see here is um, the rocking normal clip and then we have this clip going So uh, yeah, now what you need to do is on the new video track you created, search the part where you masked. So it's here. I'm gonna place it, and it's logic. I think you understand me. So what this happens? It's a normal clip transition, and new clip comes out. But it sucks. We need, as you see here, it sucks. We have to. We're gonna put an effect. Put any effect you want, but the one I like to use is um, 
a new blues effects called I don't remember the name called um, Spin Blur. I'm gonna put a spin and we're gonna click animate set this to zero keyframe uh, no Uh, we're gonna go to the start clip. Sorry, guys, it's been a long since I did a tutorial. And I'm gonna go here, set a keyframe to zero, and here I'm gonna set this to 22, which is the best. So, what we got here is a, it's an effect with um, a transition. But yeah, quick now preview. I'm gonna set this to quarter. Got a normal clip and effect and animation. Your clip starts. Yeah, I hope you like this, guys. And if there are any question, put it in the description down below. And thanks, guys. I'm out. It's actually Rick in here. Thanks.